<laughs> so these are hogs, and they're fucking they're they're posting about this is a lot of Americans got upset. Austin, they got upset uh, in the aftermath of uh, the Mar-a-Lago raid by the FBI, and they said. This is absolutely the worst thing that could have ever happened. Yeah. I, shocking that the criminal justice system could do such an really, unjustifiable thing. It's really shocking that they go after a guy that is, you know, uh, has a track record of being completely honest. Yeah. And one that would never try to undermine democracy and yeah, or 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 take classified documents yeah. that may or may not contain like, I don't know, nuclear secrets and then uh refuse to refuse to give them back when the federal government's like hey yeah we're asking nicely but can you please give these nuclear documents yeah. back they're and super surely, classified surely that if they didn't give them back surely that would justify raid but not president trump yeah no president trump would definitely give those back if he were but except of course uh you might be shocked to find out he didn't give them back which oh, is why the raid happened very shocking but for a lot of these fucking uh, hogs and hogalinas and hoglets they they are they're they're destroyed there's two things that upset these uh men and women okay that get them uh squealing like little piglets and that is the prospect of the irs and eighty-seven thousand new agents coming and knocking down their door to get their jet ski okay now that's you know i know you're afraid of that as well no, uh, and then the second one is <laughs> look i'm not afraid of it first of all uh, and then the second I one is the second one is donald trump and the fbi so they're they're screaming for civil war so we've been looking at these in the series <laughs> that i like to call hog talk civil war two electric boogaloo edition let's take a look I want y'all to think about something for a minute. Right. 86,000 IRS agents. And they're not just IRS agents, folks. They're signing an application that gives them the right to use deadly force if needed. What? So let me get this straight. They all saw the one fucking TikTok or one tweet or whatever that the IRS has numerous positions that they're looking for. And one of them was like security, basically. Mm hmm. Right. First, you son of a bitches destroy the economy and you cause inflation in this country like the world has never seen. You cause millions their jobs over a fucking vaccine. You do all this stuff. Then you attempt to raise taxes on us a first time. You were you were successful in that. Yeah. Now you're gonna do it a second. Wait, when were that when did that happen? Wait, who raised taxes on us? Okay, I don't get this. What does this dumb shit think that roads just appear and schools get built and infrastructure gets fixed out of thin air? The fuck do you think? Of course we pay taxes, you dumb motherfucker. When you cut taxes, increase the deficit, you got to raise taxes. I don't know. I thought you were going to I thought no, you were No, you got now that. California's a little extreme, but uh, but you got to pay taxes, right? Second time for anybody making $100,000 or more. <laughs> My guess is you this, dumb shit. that your intention is to send IRS agents around with their little pew-pews. Here's the thing I don't understand. Like, why, bro, brother, Dude, you're, you're a W-2 employee. What yeah, the fuck you got are you a name about? tag. You got yeah. a name tag that you had to hide, which implies that you have a boss above you. Don't worry about it, homie. Like, your boss is the one who's going to get in trouble, not you, okay? Like, He's a, you're a fucking W 2. Your taxes are withheld. You don't got to worry about it. You don't understand. I got a lifted King Rancher that I bought, okay? <laughs> you take the standard deduction every fucking year. What's your, what do you, what fucking worry about? I took about? a mortgage out on my home so I could buy that King Rancher, and now they want to take it away from me. And thinking that you're going to forcefully collect taxes from people what? no taxes you from their payroll <laughs> checks that they pay before they ever see their check taxes that you charge them again on the same money you've already taxed them on what? to buy stuff what <laughs> he's, he's taking, talking about sales tax? yeah he's taking down the concept of a little known secret the sales tax <laughs> that how dare you double tax me <laughs> Tax them again after they buy a piece of property, and then you tax them every year. Oh, uh, I mean, he's going through the different things 
that they tax like property tax sales tax it sounds like this guy wants a bunch of entitlements like free everything without having to pay for it he's just at first i didn't understand what was going on and now i'm realizing he's just explaining the concept of taxing like this is the i'm just a bill on capitol hill but uh for hogs he, and he's not singing but he's just I like i don't understand it you gotta fucking pay taxes it's just the way it is i'm sorry you gotta you want to drive a car on the road you want government agencies to provide you with police resources fire department medical uh you know you want an airport you know you want trains you know how it works sure on the land to be able to live on the property that they bought and paid for. Is that about right? Is that about summing up for you son of a bitches? Yes. But let me tell you. Yes, you adequately described the concept of taxation, okay? You described you described how taxes work. You did. You did describe hey, it. You know something. what? This guy seems to have a problem with how this country is. Maybe he should go make his own country. God damn right. That's right. If you don't like you, if you don't get like out. the way your country is, try running your country without taxes. How about that? Yeah. You go build a country with no taxes and Bro, go, fucking go see king, how it works. Fucking kingdoms operated on that. Like It's just like the, as old as time itself. The moment that like societal formations well, were created, off of slavery too. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like it's it's that. Well, some would say that we still have it called weight slavery, but um, well, also regular slavery in prison. Okay. Oh, yeah. But regardless, okay. my point is like, you know, taxes are a necessity for for any sort of like societal formation to exist. Um, the point is we still don't spend it on cool shit and good shit, and still spend it on military and theft, but. And we still pay a lot of taxes. Like, we're pretty close to the tax rate in some European countries. We don't have universal health care. Yeah. Okay. You can buy all the ammunition you want. Mm. You can buy, get all the IRS agents you want. 87000 88000 Hell, might as well go for 100000 Just make sure they got good insurance policies, folks. They're say, he's saying he's going to kill IRS agents in this fantasy that they're, they're going to come and ask him for taxes and he's going to kill them. <laughs> you some bitches up there in the Washington or wherever, make sure when you hire all these 87, 88,000 IRS agents that you go ahead. Oh, good God. And cut them off. It's the defeating drones. Coach Kelly said it to me and a couple other people when he was addressing a video that I made where he said you can't fool the system but you can fool the person operating the system so anything that you would use to defeat thermal obviously applies to drones because drones will primarily use thermal that being said a drone's worst enemy is being on the ground it can't fight you from on the ground much like fighting tanks if you're gonna fight drones the best thing to fight is the fuel truck the is ammo truck and the maintenance truck <laughs> I think, is, is someone else driving him? Like, what's happening? I mean, this is on his third DUI, probably, so. Fighting tanks, if you're going to fight drones, the best thing to fight is the fuel truck, the ammo truck, and the maintenance truck. I wouldn't try and shoot down a drone. That's kind of a fallacy. We have mountains that have extensive cave networks in them underneath 600 feet of granite. What are you talking about? There isn't a munition in the world, aside from nuclear weapons, that is capable of defeating 600 feet of granite. It's a Tesla? Wait, are you fucking serious? He's doing Tesla self-driving? Is this, this doesn't seem very hog talk. This While he's like talking about fucking how to take down drones and shit? Bro, what do you mean? Like, what? what the fuck? I mean, normally, I make fun of hogs, and I'm like, bro, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, you would die if you can't go to Applebee's. We saw how you were operating, okay, when the pandemic happened. Like... And this motherfucker straight up is in his, like, self-driving Tesla talking about taking down drones and shit. Like, what? You're not going to fucking peek out? You're not going to go outside, dude? Get the fuck out of here. But when it comes to fighting drones, just don't be where the drones are. The United States military doesn't have that many drones to begin with. I don't understand why people think that they're, like, some kind of <laughs> mythical weapon system when they're not. They require an operator, fuel, <laughs> munitions. They're radio controlled, so they need a, a radio connection. I don't know if they're controlled by radio waves. I don't think they are. 
Bro, this is literally the same as like anarchists being like, this is how you make a Molotov cocktail, like, and you know, throw it to a cop, but just like the hog version of this, even though this dude like- Wait, is he like promoting- But they're controlled by something. They're controlled by some kind of signal. I have no idea what that signal could possibly be. I'm not a drone expert. But, then why the but the best place to fight a drone is when it's on the ground. But yeah, it's not that difficult to hide from them either. Not to mention drones aren't gonna be dispatched or sent out to, you know, a I bunch of random me. dudes just hiding up in the mountains, you know? Okay, this one's boring. I don't give a shit. Okay. What's up, Take That? <laughs> God damn, the audio is so bad. Take That! Take That! What's going on? Hey, what's going on, TikTok? What's up? What's up, TikTok? I haven't made a video in a while. Because my other account is under warning. I've got four, three or four different accounts. You'll know my account. Look at the profile picture. Yeah. But anyways, here's a message to the IRS. Dumb fucks. You ever show up at my door trying to force me to pay taxes? I guess I may take a few of you out. <laughs> and you're going to take me out. I know you will. <laughs> I'd rather die on my feet than die being a slave to the government system. And that goes for all law enforcement, to be honest with you. I'd rather die on my feet. You ain't got a warrant. Believe me, no. I haven't broke the law. Your taxes, man. You don't have a reason to talk him. to me. Don't even come talk to me. Uh, <sighs> for Biden's little secret army he's trying to put together. Oh, for God's sake. You know, the FBI that raided Trump, that illegally raided Trump, oh, in yeah, my opinion. Totally. Everything I'm hearing is illegal. Oh, yeah, a bunch totally, of bullshit. Sure. What, what, have he, what has he heard, you think? <laughs> I don't know. He's everything I've heard. It. I'm gonna tell I've you right heard. now. He's from my professional opinion. Don't come to my door. From my professional opinion. Because I didn't wait till you moved to Austin, so you live next door to this guy. Okay. Yeah. You like Austin so much. This guy's yeah. gonna be coming, I'm knocking gonna, down your door, knocking gonna, on your door, like, I'm "Hey, go neighbor." To, I'm gonna move into his neighborhood, and yeah, he's gonna knock on your door and be like, "Hey, neighbor, I'm uh, legally. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, I'm a pedophile." That's what he's gonna do. Oh yeah, well, yeah. I'm also gonna. The law requires me to inform you that I did some things in the past. Well, hey, neighbor. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, start a. Uh, I'm gonna start a neighborhood drag show. Uh, oh, he'll kill you. Yeah. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna he'll kill start you. a neighborhood drag show. And. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When he says he doesn't want to follow the law, he means like he doesn't want to tell you. He doesn't want to inform you that he is. Uh, so what do they think? Eighty-seven thousand. Why are they afraid of the 87,000 IRS agents? Um, I don't, they think they're going to come for his so camper. So why is it that they, like, want to be, like, <clears throat> they like law and order, law and order, law and order. One of the most fundamental things about law and order is paying your taxes. Nope, you don't absolutely. pay your taxes, it's a felony, and you go to prison. No, they, law and order. <clears throat> that is... The fundamental foundation of law and order, because if you don't have taxes, you don't have anything to fund law and order. Because the law and order is about whatever, uh, whatever benefits them. That's it. Like law and order is about, you know, when the law is being brutal to black people and brown people and shit, not them, obviously, when it's brutal to like a, a representative of, of them, like Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump is not like them at all, God, what? Uh, then it's like, whoa, hold on now. That's fucked up. I can't believe like this is that guy. Yeah, like he um, doesn't even look cool. I'm gonna change real quick because like we gotta leave soon to go. All right, can I go mold? Am, am I gonna mold it hog, hog talk? You can keep watching this. Wear? Wait, wear that. What do you mean? I'm gonna put on like my. Shit. Okay, well you fucking watch while this die. goes on, and I'll be back. I'm not okay. military. I'm not. I'm a, I'm a regular civilian, but hell, I may take a few of you out, but I know you'll take me out. And I'll die. I'll die a free man. I'm not because that's one thing you'll never take from me is my freedom and my rights and my constitutional right. Because I'll die with those. That's something that's more valuable than anything. On the Constitution does not give you the right to evade taxes. On this earth. So. Yeah. 
I'm like my dog. I'm a free running person. Hey! Come on! I'll be free until the day I die. Okay. We're on desktop. Old Cat Dave wants to be anonymous. Except in his profile, he says his name is Dave, 50 year old single vet and a truck driver. Let's see what he says. What if this is like bannable? I don't want to, like, okay. I want to go ahead and get this straight. My problem ain't with my fellow man that's across the street or wherever else. No, that ain't who my problem is. My problem ain't with the with the black man. My okay, maybe we shouldn't watch this. I don't know what the fuck. We're... What the hell is hog talk's a little dangerous? <laughs> a little dangerous hog talk is. I don't know. We're getting a little dicey. Wait, is that fine? Okay, all right, all right. What's up? My problem ain't with the fucking. I don't know, man. I don't know what he's gonna say. I'm gonna mute this. I'm gonna mute it real quick. Test. You guys can't hear it, can you? Uh, yellow man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't watch this, dude. I can't. We can't watch it. We can't watch it. We can't watch it. Okay. We can't. We can't watch that. No. 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 He went and right after that. He no 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 he racist can't do it can't do it next one is racy okay I don't even know I, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't watch this yeah he he said yeah no no I, I I can't watch it uh yeah he left me in a fucking minefield dude look at this. All right, Mr. Biden, listen up. You're our president, our commander in chief, right? So clearly, you know, price gouging is illegal. But you let it happen with no repercussions. I have a little small town. And this beast, she takes diesel. So please explain to me how diesel in my town is six dollars a gallon but i drive five miles down the road and it's 529 well didn't the democrats try to pass a bill to outlaw that but republicans blocked it isn't that right i drive 20 minutes away and it's 499 to me this is price gouging which is illegal yeah they tried to, to me, block it they tried to ban it but the republicans blocked it I was filling my truck up at two fifty nine a gallon with diesel under. And that's what you get driving a fucking semi truck as a commuter car. That's what happens. Why are you driving fucking? Why do you need that big fucking thing anyway? So what the fuck are you doing, old man? Why are you making my girl suffer with these prices so you can pay foreign countries for their aid? Mr. Biden, why are you taking money out of my pocket and hurting my family so you can aid Syria, so you can aid everything in the Middle East? Trump didn't do that shit. He was for our country, for America, for the American people, for the hard worker. What are you for? Huh? Explain it to me. I'm over filling up my truck for $200 because we had... <laughs> Then sell it. There you go. To send our money overseas to aid some other war that's not our fucking war. Stand up, America. Take your stand. The rednecks. The hillbillies. The veterans. We'll all stand together. Stand up. And let's take a stand against this. Because if you cannot see, if it's not plain enough, they're trying to overthrow the American people with their ways, their agendas, their motives. They're trying to take our guns. They're trying to take our rights. They push a bill through that never even passed the fucking house with votes. Talking about... These guys like sound like 
These guys sound like if you were to scroll through Facebook, like a hog Facebook feed really quickly and just picked up pieces of information and had to like... They're like, okay, you have five minutes to scroll through a Facebook feed and pick up as much information as possible. All right, what did it say? And he just regurgitates like little like bullet points from each from each little little thing on Facebook. <laughs> and and then develops their whole worldview based on that. That's exactly what that's exactly what they do, right? Gosh damn. They're taking your guns. They're taking your freedom. Right, They're fucking your wives. Oh. Okay, we gotta go.